Hello students, a very good evening to all of you. Welcome to Online Tayari. This is our session on Daily Current Affairs. Let us begin with our first question. So the first question is, who has been nominated as the non-official director to RBI Central Board? We have four options. The right option is option D, Natarajan Chandrasekharan. Okay, the Reserve Bank of India has nominated Natarajan Chandrasekharan as the non-official director to RBI Central Board for another term of two years. Natarajan uh, Chandrasekharan is the chairman of the Tata Group and he has been in the Tata company since 1987. And also he is serving as the director of RBI Central Board since 2016. Okay, let's move to the second one. Who has been appointed as the new chairman of the Gem and Jewelry Export Promotion Council? It is option C, Colin Shah. So Colin Shah has been appointed as the new chairman of the Gem and Jewelry Export Promotion Council that is functioning under the supervision of the Ministry of Commerce on 22nd June. So this will be for a term of two, two years until 2022. Council also appointed Vipul Shah as the Vice Chairman of GJEPC. What is GJEPC? That is nothing but Gem and Jewelry Export Promotion Council. Okay. So, Colin Shah was serving as the current Vice Chairman of a GJEPC and took over responsibility from the former Chairman Pramod Agarwal on 23rd June. So, also note... Students that GJEPC is the highest trade body for jewellery sector. Okay. So here let's move to the third one. Who has been appointed as the chairman of Indian Financial Technology and Allied Services? It is option B. T. Rabi Shankar. So this is a this IFTAS. That is nothing but Indian Financial Technology and Allied Services. It is a wholly uh, owned subsidy of Reserve Bank of India with effect from 15th May 2020. So, Rabi Shankar is currently serving as the Executive Director of RBI for Payment System, Information Technology, Risk Management and Fintech and has also taken over the position of Chairman simultaneously. So, this IFTAS has also appointed Dr. N. Rajendran as the Chief Executive Officer of the organization with effect from 27th May 2020. Okay, clear. Let's move to the fourth one. Who is the new head of the National Science Foundation of the US? It is option A, Dr. Seturaman Panchanathan. So, he's been appointed as the new head of the National Science Foundation of the United States of America. And he is the second Indian American after Dr. Subra Suresh to be nominated to the eminent position. The appointment of Dr. Seturaman Panchanathan was confirmed by the U.S. Senate as director of the National Science Foundation. He would also take over the charge from France, Cordova, as the 16th director of the NSF on 6th July 2020. So also note students, the National Science Foundation is an apex American body that supports fundamental research in the field of engineering and science and not related to medicine. So it is totally not related to medicine. Okay, clear? Let's move to the fifth one. Who has authored the book Legend of Suheldev, the king who saved India. It is option D, Amish Tripathi. Okay. So, the director of London Nehru Centre and the best-selling author Amish Tripathi has authored the book Legend of Suheldev, the king who saved India. The events of the book are set in the 11th century when India was invaded by Muhammad of Ghazni who destroyed the Somnath Temple. The book is being published by Westland and focuses on the theme of how India was united across castes, regions and religions to fight against the invaders and which culminates the Battle of Baraj. Okay, clear. Let's move to the sixth one. When is the Olympic Day observed? It is option B, 23rd June. So, this day is observed every year on 23rd June. 
It is to celebrate the health, sport and the fitness of all the individuals across the world with the objective to make everyone active in their daily routine. The day commemorates the foundation of the International Olympic Committee on 23rd June 1894 in Paris, France at the Sorbonne. The first Olympic day was observed in 1948 that is on 23rd June and the National Olympic Committee were given the charge of organizing an Olympic day for the promotion of Olympic movement in the recommendation of 1978 edition of the Olympic Charter of the first time. The Olympic movement will celebrate the Olympic day by virtually holding the world's largest 24-hour digital first Olympic workout. Okay, the 2020 edition of the Olympic days, the first to go truly global online. Clear students, let's move to the seventh one. Which organization organized the first virtual healthcare and hygiene expo 2020? It is option A, Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry. Okay, so this was inaugurated by the Minister of State for Shipping and Chemicals and Fertilizers, Sri uh, Manchuk uh, Mandavia on 22nd June. The event will be held virtually live from 22nd June to 26th June 2020 every day. The virtual expose is a push towards the new norm where the concept of digital India is being encouraged for the development of businesses. The government is also developing an ecosystem for making a self-reliant India in the pharmaceutical and health and also hygiene sector. Clear? Let's move to the eighth one. Who has been appointed as the Chief Financial Officer of the Standard Chartered Bank of India? It is option D. Gaurav Maheshwari. So Gaurav Maheshwari has been appointed as the new Chief Financial Officer of the Standard Chartered Bank India with effect from 22nd June 2020. So he has taken over the role of um, Mohanty that is uh, Subradeep Mohanty who was been appointed as the CFO of Africa and Middle East region. So Gaurav Maheshwari will report to Zarin uh, Darwala India, the CEO and Jean Fernandez, the regional CFO, ASEAN and South Asia of Standard Chartered Bank in the assigned role. Clear? Let's move to the ninth one. Okay, it is when is the International Day of Celebration of the Solace Days observed? It is option B, 21st June. So this day is observed every year on 21st June. And the day is also commonly known as Summer Solace Day. So the Summer Solace Day was observed in India on 21st June at around 3.13 p.m. So on this day, the sun reaches uh, its most northerly or southerly day arc with reference to the equator. And it is known as Summer Solace Day. And it is in the northern hemisphere of the earth witnesses the longest day of the year. Okay. So the earth experiences two solstices where which happen annually that is around 21st June and 21st December. Which is commonly known as winter solstice. So this is the shortest day of the year. Okay. Clear students. Let's move to the 10th one. Which state government has announced the Indira Rasoi Yojana? It is option C, Rajasthan. So the state government of Rajasthan has announced the Indira Rasoi Yojana on 22nd June. So this is an effort to provide nutritious and healthy food to the economically weaker section of the society. The state government will collaborate with the non-governmental organizations of each district to provide food at the concessional rates to the poor twice a day and to ensure that the scheme is implemented throughout the state. It's a very good initiative actually. Okay, so students, these are the 10 questions for today. Tomorrow, I'll be coming up with another set of MCQs for you. Okay, so until then, stay safe. All of you stay at home. Stay tuned to Online Tayari. This is Meghna signing off. Bye.